When we were looking for the dead marshes, we'd been told that there was a, a particular place just out of Tiana that had some potential. So we went there in our helicopters and we looked at this spot. It's called Kepler Mire. It's, it's essentially a big valley that was full of water and over thousands of years, all of these mosses had grown in there and basically filled up this lake. And the helicopter dropped us off in the marsh on what looked like land. But it wasn't land at all. You could go jump up and down and you realize you're on this thing that's floating. We want this to be as rugged and inhospitable as we can. So I think we found the ideal place. We got out on one of the little sort of islands and um, Peter put his foot into the water and, and went to step on. It's just checking how solid the moss was. He was in his shorts as always and he decided to walk into this thing and his, his foot disappeared, his leg disappeared to the hip. The problem with a real marshland is that you couldn't actually film w with actors on it because it doesn't have a solid kind of ground. So we abandoned that idea and we decided to mainly recreate the marsh um, in, in the stage. But we did some aerial photography there, the same general area. It was later when we were doing pickups for the Fellowship of the Ring that we were flying to go shoot something else and we had a camera. And I kind of looked down at the landscape that we're over, and I said, look, let's just start shooting it. And they did a few flying buys of flying over this big swampy marshland and got a few shots that are in the movie. 